What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a new showdown live for you guys today. And keep in mind, showdown lives are not for completed teams, they're for testing a team out and showcasing a concept I have for a team. And then later on I'll perfect it and make a rental for you guys. And you guys voted for me to try out dual wingbeat scyther and guys, I gotta be honest with you. I have tried this team time and time again. This is like the fourth version of this team. Dual wingbeat scyther is bad. But we're gonna do our best to make a, a rental team with dual wingbeat scyther. So I might as well get into it and do my best here. Just don't expect the best of results, but we're definitely gonna have a fun time uh, trying to use Scyther. Uh, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, please give a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Also, two shout outs I wanna give. First of all, shout out to you guys. We reached 120 something viewers at one point for my Isle of Armor VGC tournament challenge. Uh, like when I was live streaming that yesterday. Uh, and shout out to Mr. Legitimacy on SoundCloud. He's a fan of the channel and he actually messaged me on Twitter, gave me permission to use his beats for my showdown lives, which are copyright free. And I don't have to worry about getting copyright stricken because of that. Uh, so shout out to him. He has some great music. I really enjoy it myself. His link will be in the description down below. Uh, and the music you're hearing right now is by him. So go ahead and check him out. I'd really appreciate it. Let's shoot for 150 likes today. And uh, comment below. What would you do for Dual Wing Beat Scyther? Like, do you think Dual Wing Beat Scyther is like going to be used at all? Because I feel like Scissor is just better since you can knock out Amoongus with it, but Scyther gets like stab on Airstream and stuff. So it's kind of a tough call to make in my opinion. Uh, I think Scyther is better, but, or I think uh, Scissor is better, but I, I don't know. We'll explain the team now. Also, uh, if you don't feel like answering that question, uh, comment, do you like pineapple on pizza? I don't like pineapple on pizza. I'm a pineapple hater. So, running Eviolite Dual Wingbeat Scyther with Technician, it turns Dual Wingbeat from an 80 base power move, because it hits twice, into a, a 120 base power move, which is really, really strong. Um, X Scissor, because we don't get Bug Bite in this generation, so we're like 10 points weaker. Brick Break is for Max Knuckle, and to help with the uh, Lapras matchup, which Scyther already doesn't do very well with, and Protect, because it's just a good idea. The Scyther's EV'd to a point where if I go for Max Knuckle into a Terrakion, um, I'll be able to knock it out the next turn with Max Airstream. And I actually live a Max Rockfall while I'm Dynamaxed at minus one, so Incinera is here to help out with that. And I also live a Rock Slide at minus one from non-Dynamaxed, uh, right? Or when I'm not Dynamaxed, so that's really nice. Politoed is a special defensive helping hand uh, Icy Wind Scald Protect set. This Politoed is pretty much meant to take a modest Life Orb Leaf Storm from Venusaur if we end up in that situation and grant us a good amount of speed control. Kingdra. We're running Timid instead of Modest, even though Modest is the most popular, and that's purely because if we face Opposing Rain, it makes it a lot easier to safely get our uh, Max max uh, Wormwind off on the Opposing Kingdra and knock it out. Uh, we don't have to worry about Speed Ties as much since a lot of them are Modest right now. And we're not running Protect because I just wanted as much coverage as I could get. We're running Koba Berry Amoongus. Uh, it's able to take plus four so beat up uh, Teraki on Rock Slide if it's Jolly Max attack. And that allows us to go for either a Spore or a Clear Smog onto it. Spore is probably the better idea since not a lot of them are running, um, not a lot of them are actually running a Lumberry right now. Incineroar, standard set that I like to run. Uh, Safety Goggles is great for helping out versus Amoongus teams. Fake out, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, Darkest Lair out. With this investment, we're able to take minus one high horsepower from Excadrill. And we're also able to take Modest Max Special Attack Hydro Pump from Rotom Wash. And because of the speed tier, we're probably going to be outspeeding other Incineroars and being able to parting shot against Lapras. And before this was a Togunamaru, and then it was a Lapras, and now it's a Conkeldur. I just slapped on Conkeldur here because I feel like there's nothing else that's going to work. I don't know what else to run. <laughs> so if you ask why is there a Conkeldur, that, that's why. I just don't know what else to put there, and it helps out with Lapras. So let's get into it. Like, I, I legitimately have had the worst time facing Lapras teams, so I'm like, let's just add a fighting type. And speak of the devil. Speak of the devil and he shall come. Is that the saying? It sounds gross. Um, let me think. Or he shall arrive? I don't know. So, uh, Scyther is bad here. However, it's also good. It's good for Rillaboom, it's good for Amoongus, and one of those two is going to show up to this matchup. My money is on Amoongus since it does so well versus Rain. I think I'm going to go ahead and lead off Scyther and... Um, do I want to run Rain at all? I know I need Conkledur in the back for this game. I think I need Incineroar in the lead. So we'll do like Scyther and Incineroar in the lead. We'll bring Conkledur in the back. And I think my last Mon is probably going to be... Amoongus? We'll do Amoongus. That just feels right. Yeah, there's the Lapras. 
Uh, so I'll be able to parting shot out here. And do I take a max resonance? I don't know. I don't know if I take a max resonance, actually. Hmm. What I could do is parting shot and protect. And they're going to get the resonance up, but it's not the worst, you know. Hopefully they don't follow me. I'm assuming the Lapras Dynamax is in this matchup. Parting Shot will help me deal with both of these Pokemon. And because I have my Koba Berry on my Amoongus, I'll be able to take whatever I need. There's the Max Resonance. He gets the critical hit, which is kind of annoying. I don't think Dueling Beat knocks out from this range. However, what I could do is get in Conkleder and force them into a situation where they want to spore the Conkleder. It makes sense for them to want to spore Conkleder. It just helps them out a lot. And then I can switch back in Incineroar as I go for Brick Break. And hope that they don't just knock out my Scyther. They're probably just going to knock out the Scyther. the Brick Break, they're probably going to get a Weakness Policy. See the Max Lightning. And they're going to go for their Spore there, which is really nice for me. Um, here, I'm Assault Vest, so I can take the hit. I can go for a Fake Out into the Amoongus, and a Drain Punch into this Lapras. And then next turn, I can Flare Blitz. I think that's probably my player. I could even just Max Lightning, or Max Knuckle but that doesn't seem right, actually. I'll just go for the Drain Punch for damage here. And I'll fake out Amoongus. Actually, I don't even need to fake out the Amoongus. Amoongus is no threat to me. So I'll Parting Shot on the Lapras. Or do I max Hailstorm to knock out Amoongus? This is actually a really tough call. I think this is my play, though. I Dynamax, Max Hailstorm, and I Parting Shot on Lapras because they're probably going to follow me. Or Rage Powder. They max Geyser, and I'm not faster. Max Hailstorm. They really forgot. They really did forget. Uh, I'll be able to max Knuckle here. Into that Lapras. But I'm not liking this endgame. This is a really tough endgame. Go for a Giga Drain just in case I don't KO. Yeah, that, that Togekiss is going to mess me up. Kind of hoping they double into Conkleder. If they double into Conkleder, that's probably the best case situation, because then they won't knock me out with my Amoongus, and I can follow me away a, a hit from this uh, Togekiss. They just- what? Okay, cool, we won. We're, we're gonna take that, we're gonna take that. We're gonna say that Scyther won that game. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. That's a Luxray. Uh, we see beat up shenanigans. So I feel pretty safe leading off like uh, Amoongus Incineroar here. It just feels right. I'm able to fake out that thing. Put that, uh, put that Terrakion if I, uh, to sleep if I need to. Um, in the back here, I think Rain isn't a bad idea at all. So I'll bring Politoed and Kingdra. Yeah, so Amoongus Incineroar, Kingdra, Politoed. There's the Sableye. There's the Duraldon. It's probably fake tears. Does Sableye get fake tears? Whoop. Slash learn Sableye fake tears. Okay, I don't. Let, let me just check. <laughs> I don't think it does. We would have seen it by now. Like in the metagame. It doesn't. It can fake out though. And they're probably going to max lightning here, so I'll just parting shot in the Duraldon. And, uh... I mean, there's no reason not to try. They're going to max lightning, though. Ah, eh, they just taunt. That's fine. I live that hit, get my parting shot off. I can get in Kingdra now. And I think, uh... They could go for, like, Quash or something. I can probably just get in Politoed right here. For the Kingdra, take the hit. Get back in Incineroar. I 
Oh, I messed up. That was not the that was not what I was trying to do. Okay. Um, at the very least, I could help in hand a Draco Meteor, maybe? I don't know, I, I completely messed up my board positioning there. Alright, um, we'll go for the Scald into that Sableye slot. Oh, I can't max guard. No, I just have to do this. Well, helping hand. Go for max Wormwind. Hopefully max Wormwind with a Life Orb will knock this thing out. But it's probably a Salt Vest. Judging by the damage we did. That hurts. They have Quash, just like I expected. We get the critical hit. Doesn't matter, though. Um, I'll just go for a Scald onto you. I'll switch in my Amoongus, actually. I'm willing to, to lose my Dynamax, because I'd rather have Kingdra healthy uh, to attack things for the rest of the game. There's the Quash. There's the Draco Meteor. We take it like a champ. Yeah, had I gotten in my Politoed, I would have been in a better spot, like the way I wanted to, because I wanted Politoed to take the Kingdra hit, and I completely misclicked. Alright, uh, we can follow me here. And go for a Scald, or it's probably Guts. Ugh, if it's Guts, it's gonna be annoying. I can Rage Powder, though. Um... Yeah, we'll go for a Scald onto the Sableye and Rage Powder away the hit. As they're likely going to taunt. Cool. Go for a Protect here. I need to get rid of that Sableye. Hmm. There's the Wild Charge. Snarl. Yikes, this is a really tough one. I mean, I am faster than that Luxray with my Kingdra, but they're going to be able to go for Quash, so... Let's just hope for the best here. I need a crit. As they just Psychic Fangs. Okay, well... Pfft. Forfeit. This team is trash, guys. This team is absolute trash, and I don't I don't recommend Dual Wing Meet Scyther for the life of me. And I'm not going to re-record this just because I'm losing. Like, I need to show you guys, like, this does not work. I will challenge you guys, please use Dual Wing Meet Scyther. Alright, we're facing Hard Trick Room. Um... They could follow me with Ndidi. Conqueror seems pretty nice for the Trick Room matchup, so is Amoongus, but they do have the Torkoal. I'm going to have to use Rain, like, really effectively here. Hmm. Kind of wish we had, like, a two-turn bug move, because that would allow me to uh, knock out the Ndidi pretty easily. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. I feel like they're going to go with Trick Room Hatterene because it makes it easier. I feel like they're going to lead off Trick Room Hatterene, so I'm going to lead off Incineroar for the possible for the possibility to Parting Shot out. And Scyther. This is such a risky way of doing this, by the way. This is like the worst way I could be doing this. Amoongus. Okay, I made the right call. So what I need to happen here is I need this, um, I need this Ndidi to not be Focus Sash. If it's not Focus Sash, we can Parting Shot on the Hatterene and stop the Trick Room. Because I don't think Dual Wing Beat will be able to knock it out. And I have to Dynamax, so let's do it. Come on, baby. Don't be Sash, don't be Sash. It's Sash, okay. Unfortunate, but at least we lower the special attack. I can, uh, get in the Politoed here. And I can definitely take a hit. Hmm. I think I'll just go for the Scald into you, and I'll go for a Max Flutterby into Forbidden Witch here. Expanding Force hurts, like, real bad. I go for Expanding Force, I take that. Scald. Max Flutterby. Doesn't quite KO. Likely gonna get in the uh, Belly Drum Snorlax. But I could go for like a Helping Hand Max Knuckle. Oh, the Torkoal, all right. 
So I think here my play would be to sack the Amoongus and try to get back in Politoed. Or actually, here's what I'll do. I'll get in Incineroar because I don't have to sack then. And I can max guard and then I get in Politoed uh, to reset the rain. And I can just take whatever. There's a Snorlax. Your Trick Room turns are almost over though. Alright, let me get in the Politoed. I can take whatever the Scyther wants to go for. And... Do I dual wing beat or do I... I think I have to dual wing beat this uh, Volcano. <laughs> I'm hoping that Eevee Light in the rain allows me to take it, but it's gonna be close. Get back in the Politoed. Cut that damage in half. I'm Eevee Light. Yes! Okay, cool. The Belly Drum up. Wingbeat does a good amount. And uh, they're running out of Trick Room turns here, so what I'll do is I'll actually just protect with both of my Mons and just hope that I keep one of the good ones. Yeah, let's do that. I think I'd rather keep Scyther than Politoed, funny enough. I could get an Incineroar, but with Psychic Train running out next turn, I have Fake Out. And they can't reset the Trick Room here. I'll be able to knock them out with any one of my Pokemon. There's GMAX Replenish. He's gonna get a... to get a Berry back? To not get the Berry back. Okay, cool. So what I can do here is... I should be able to knock out Forbidden Witch here. And I'll actually get in Amoongus. Because it's, it's gonna be a speed tie as to... If I can get my Spore off. Go for the Spore, go for the Dual Wing Beat, or X Scissor is more accurate, and then I'll lock it out. If I get the Spore off, I win. I just need one win with Dual Wing Beat Scyther, and I'll be satisfied for this. Like, with this with this video, I'll be satisfied. I just want one win, where Scyther is like an active participant. Come on, baby. Get the spore off. Oh, uh, that's disappointing. I mean, I suppose I can like darkest Lariat, and what does the most? Oh, I have the. Dang it. Dang it. Um. Here's what has to happen. I have to fake out into this thing. I have to dual wing beat into it, and I need them to knock out Scyther and not Incineroar. That's one, and that's not going to KO. Alright. So unfortunately, Scyther sucks. Scyther really sucks. I'll just do that. <laughs> this video is awful. I just I just want Scyther to do something, man. Alright. GG. Come on. I need the Scyther to work. Its entire purpose is to check Amoongus, and we've only faced, like, one of them. Why don't we just get challenged? Get out of here. Okay, um, let me think. So it's Terrain Pulse Clawitzer. You can tell that much, because you got two types of terrains here. Scyther does not look bad on the lead at all, in fact. I think I'll go Scyther Amoongus. Incineroar in the back. And my last Mon is probably going to have to be... Do I go Kingdra or Politoed? I think I should go Kingdra. Alright. So. What I can do here is... I can go for this uh, Max Airstream into this Toekiss. Get my speed up. I can take whatever I need to from this Toekiss with um, Amoongus here, right? And... I want to Spore it. I really do. But I also want to, you know, it, it won't knock me out on Scyther because I'm Eviolite and I'm going to Dynamax. So I'll just go for Spore. I'm not going to redirect the hit. Hopefully they're not Safety Goggles. Because Safety Goggles and Moongus is picking up in usage right now. Alright. Get my speed up. The Max Airstream. I should take that. Critical hit. 
there we go. And they should terrain pulse or something. Dark pulse. No! <laughs> Why? Why are they just... Oh. Alright, at least Ice Beam into Max Airstream will KO here. Yeah. So I just Ice Beam Max Airstream. Maybe Scyther will manage to pull this one off. I mean, I still have one more turn of Dynamax after this. Do a lot. Please let the Life Orb KO. Not quite. Freeze? Hey, okay. Dude, we're getting lucky. It's working. This is content. <laughs> this is content, man. Um, I wonder if Max Knuckle KOs. I think I'd rather get the Max Knuckle off and sack the Kingdra. I feel like it's an awful play, though. Here's what we'll do. What'd they go for last turn? Dark Pulse? We'll max Knuckle for our final turn. Get an Incineroar on what I assume is going to be another Dark Pulse. Hope that this KOs. It doesn't, but it doesn't matter as long as they don't thaw out this turn. Yep. Playing a, playing a scary game here. Go for the X Scissor for the KO because it can't miss. Go for the Fake Out into the Clawitzer. We have plus two, plus one Scyther. <laughs> this team's trash, bro. This team's absolute trash. Oh, he's actually faster. Oh, he's gonna follow me. Don't have an Arcanine. If there's an Arcanine, we they, we have no way of winning. There's the Rillaboom. Okay. I protect here. I sack my Kingdra. Yeah, I sack the Kingdra. And with Eviel Light, I can definitely take a hit from the Clawitzer. And dual wing beat should knock out Rillaboom. they're going to fake out the Scyther or something. Yeah. It's the Dark Pulse. Alright, um... I don't think he's going to be doing too much to me. How fast is this Clawitzer? It's probably faster than me. Depends how much speed they're running, but they are... They do have a Trick Room option, so they might not be that fast. I think it's my top priority to deal with uh, Clawitzer right now. So go for Dual Wing Beat into the Clawitzer. And... Do I need Incineroar more, or do I need Kingdra? That's the tough call. I think Incineroar ends up being more useful in the end. But in the off chance, it takes this hit. Draco Meteor. Oh, Scyther, you're doing it. He knocks off my Eviolite, but I don't think that's going to matter. I get a Draco Meteor off, I can switch in my Incineroar. Are we finally going to get a win with the Scyther? Bro, I think we're going to get a win with the Scyther. Go for this X Scissor. Switch in the Incineroar. Exos is going to knock this thing out. There's no way they outspeed me with the Ndidi. I don't think they can KO me with Rillaboom or anything. This is working. We're finally doing it. <laughs> this is how the video ends. We get our win. We get our one win. With Dual Wing Beat Scyther. <laughs> Drum beating. Bro. We did it. We got the Scyther win. <laughs> we'll get one more. I'm not going to end it like that. I want to get one more Scyther win. Uh, we'll get one more vi or one more battle for the video, and hopefully Scyther can do something. There's a reason I went on my low ladder account for this one. What is this? So, this is an interesting matchup, um, because they have both a... I mean, what does Snorlax do for them? They get messed up by Conkledur if I play my, if I play my Mons, right? I think I might lead off Amoongus... I'm kind of tempted to lead off Amoongus and Scyther. Because if it's Sash Butterfree, I can like, I can redirect the powder move, right? And then knock it out with Dual Wingbeat. I bring Conkledur in the back to deal with all of their, all of their Sand Mons. And I think my last Mons going to have to be... I really have no way of checking Togekiss with this team. That's, that's the biggest flaw. I probably need like a Rock type or something. I don't see too much of a need for Politoed in particular. I'll bring Incineroar, even though it's weak to their Rock Mons. It should be fine. Alright. We're gonna go for a Rage Powder here, and I'm gonna go for Dual Wing Beat into Butterfree. And hopefully that'll KO. It might be Dynamax Butterfree, though. There's the Fake Out. So, as long as it's not Scarf Butterfree, which it is Scarf Butterfree, thank you, game. 
Thank you, game, for that. Um, <laughs> I'll get in my Incineroar here, and I'll continue to try to dual wing beat this Butterfree. I was hoping it'd be Sash Butterfree, if anything. Because they're going to taunt into the Amoongus slot anyways. And if you're Scarf Butterfree, I don't think you're going to Gigantamax that thing. Alright, cool, we get an Intimidate off. Hopefully I wake up here. Hey, we wake up. And we land that duel we beat it KOs. That actually KOs. Scyther, thank you. You're finally pulling your weight. And we definitely take that rock slide. 100% we take that rock slide. And they're Mold Breaker too. Mold Breaker with Tyranitar? What? Okay, interesting. There's a Sableye. Um, a parting shot here. And I'll get on. I'll get in my Conkledur. Yeah. Take the hit. Parting shot out. Get into you. We'll uh, Rage Powder here. Go for my Drain Punch into the Excadrill. If they want to burn me, they'll have to. Uh, <laughs> they'll have to actually taunt the Samungus first. Come on, baby. There's the toe kiss. That's fine, because um, I have ice punch. As they foul play, they can dazzling gleam me, but I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference. So what I'll do here is I'll actually just. Are they gonna taunt? Do they have taunt? Fake out, foul play, probably quash and taunt. I mean, I'm a salt vest. I can take the hit as long as, long as it's not like a crit. I'll go for this. I think it's my play just to Dynamax Max Hailstorm. So I'll try to Rage Powder. Which does more? Yeah, Max Hailstorm does more. The Air Slash Koba Berry lets me live that. And they are not going for taunts. They didn't have it. Beautiful. We won another game with Scyther, finally. It took us like the whole video. The whole video to get two games with Scyther. And all we had to do was get low ladder enough to the point where they couldn't win. Rage Powder, Max Knuckle will KO. Even if they're Focus Sash, this will straight up KO. And Foul Play is not KOing me. They would have gone for uh, Will O Wisp if they had it already. Yeah, this video is going to be titled like Trying to Win with Dueling Beat Scyther. Or Dueling Beat Scyther's Bad. I have no idea what I'm going to name this video. <laughs> Alright, Scyther, come in. GG, you too. So, let's let Scyther get this win. Let's let Scyther get the win. Bam. Bam. And... Dueling Beat again. Or I guess X Scissor does it. And we'll Darkest Lair M. Why not? Qua oh, come on! You couldn't. <laughs> you just ruined the Scyther win. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, that is what it is. Uh, we learned today Dueling Beat Scyther is awful, and I will not be making a rental team around it. However, if you guys want to try out this team, I'll leave a Poke Paste in the description down below for you guys. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, turn on notifications, and I'll try to get you guys a battle that doesn't suck next time. Or a team that doesn't suck, or something. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice night. See you.